Hello all, welcome to welcome back to Uncommon Geek. So we were discussing hosting in the now past videos. I'm continuing the same session in this video as well. So in the first video we had seen the discussions about the fundamentals of hosting. So in second video we had discussed some questions on hosting, and in this third video also we are going to discuss some more questions on hosting. But this video is predominantly on the Uh, code snippets. We had some snippets. I'll be showing you one after the other, and then you you should be guessing the output of it. Okay. Without wasting further time, let's get started. This is the first snippet. Uh, one of the easiest one to start off. Okay. So where I have created a function named a test, and I have created two variables with the same uh, with the keyword var, and the name of the both the variables are same. So six and seven. So both have the variable x. And in line number eight, I'm trying to print the value of of x. Okay, the first question would be guess the output of this. What do you think the output of this function is? Okay, um, if you all if you already know the answer, please do comment that in the comment section. If not, uh, I I'll explain you the answer. So we have declared the variable with the keyword var twice here. So x and x. Okay, and we are trying to log the value of x here. Okay. Uh, with if you're from any other programming language background, you you would think like there's an error because of the redeclaration. Same variable declaring twice would lead to an error. Okay, uh, that's quite obvious also because as you know the variables are basically point to some memory location. Since we in the programming we cannot access a we cannot use a memory location for identifying a value of a variable. We use the variables which is human understandable. Okay. So if we duplicate it, then the, we start thinking that there is no way where same variable can can point to two different memory locations, or within the same block, we start getting the uh, redeclaration error. But here, actually, what happens? An interesting output will come. Let me show you. X we get as undefined. So the reason being, okay, let me declare one more time. Hmm? Three times I'm declaring. So we are getting still X is undefined. Okay. Let me do one thing. I'll assign a value of ten here. Okay, so we are getting ten. Let's say if I add same ten here, we are getting ten. What if I do ten here and forty here? Okay, so hope you understanding what is actually happening. So inside a given block, variable created with the var keyword is having a global scope, and in entire scope, scope I mean from line number five to line number ten. There is only one variable which with which var gets created if the name is same. So var x, no matter how many times you declare the variable x inside a particular block, there will be only one instance of it, and the value will be keep on getting updated. So in our case, var x, whenever uh, our JavaScript engine scanned this function, variable x got hoisted, okay, to the top. Then it can come to line number six in, during the second run, it initialized to ten, and it came here. So x became undefined. Uh, no, no, yeah, x did not become undefined here because there is only one x. So value of x, whatever you initialize here, that value still holds good. Then it goes to the line number eight, okay, where it updated the value to forty. So just to clarify, I am removing this line so that you will be able to understand much better. See, still x is ten. So with our common sense, we would have thought like x equal to it here. It became ten. Then when it comes here again, x become undefined. No, because there is only one instance and x got already hoisted. So whatever the value that we have encountered, that value is going to remain, and it's only going to be replaced whenever there is a new value initialized to it. Until then, the execution continues the same way. Okay. See, so this is about the question number one. Okay. Looks pretty straightforward, but uh, the concept involved here, where the variable declared with var keyword will be having a global scope, and no matter how many times you redeclare it, there will not be any error. And it will be only using the most recent value uh, in the given scope. Okay, I am just commenting this. Let us go to the question number two. Question number two is almost the same as the question number one. I I I intentionally have taken this example so that you will be able to think in the same direction. Hmm? So we have created two functions now: var test and let test. Okay, uh, it is pretty much the same. We have created a variable with var keyword x here. Then in the twenty one twenty two. I am updating the value, okay, and here I am again uh, printing the value of x. Let me first call this var test. Since you already have seen the first uh, uh, example and you are aware of the execution cycle, how it's going to execute, I guess most of you will be able to answer it. Please do mention that in the comment section. I uh, let me execute this. So we are getting two twice. 
because as you know variable created with a var keyword is having uh, only one instance redeclaration is allowed inside a block so what is happening is there is only one instance of x so first was in line number 19 then it came here inside then it become 2 so same variable so which was pointing to 1 now pointing to 2 so here the value got printed 2 it came outside as you know same variable x is for the entire block so here also it is pointing to x as 2 now an interesting question here i am using a let variable okay rest of the execution is same rest of the things are same can you guess the output of this okay if you know the answer please do mention the video timing and your answer let me execute it 2 and 1 okay this is a slight difference so what happened is let is not having a global scope let is having a local scope or a lexical scope uh, to the block wherever it belongs so line number 29 to 32 is the scope of this uh, sc scope of this particular variable okay and line number 28 what you have declared uh, this let x so this scope is from 27 to 34 so this whatever you are seeing here one execution context get created for this block and it will it will be removed as soon as it encounters the end of the scope or line number 32 so what's happening the compiler is compiling coming here let x equal to 1 then going inside let x equal to 2 console.log x then this let x whatever created inside this that is that memory is totally removed when you come out we are only having one x okay where we are getting the value as here it has 2 here it has 1 okay now if you remove this uh, bracket what's gonna happen or parenthesis or flower bracket what's gonna happen guess the output so this is also another again another important interview question okay so what we are getting is x has already been declared so the redeclaration error we are getting so only variable declared with var keyword is going to have one instance but the variable de variable defined with let keyword cannot will not have one uh, will uh, only variable declared with var keyword will have only one instance for the entire block so it's a global scope but let keyword will have a local scope that means inside a given block you cannot define the same variable twice okay so this will throw you an error so hope you're clear i believe on these two questions if possible i'll be adding all these questions into my github repo and try to link it in the description okay please do check it and this is the third question quite straightforward question okay the reason i uh, introduced this is i wanted you also to win sometimes by answering some easy questions so this do something so i'm calling this function so here we are trying to log the very of um, value of uh, variable bar above it and below it so this is the same almost the same example that i gave in the introduction video of the hosting let me run it uh, if you know the answer as usual do do comment uh, video timing and your answer so we're getting undefined and 11 one 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 uh, so the reason for this also you you know already so inside a given block when wherever you encounter a var keyword it get hoisted onto the top and uh, the default value of uh, it will be undefined okay like this it happened during the first turn and during second run whenever it execution happens in line number 43 we, we print the undefined and 44 in line number 45 we will print whatever the actual value of bar that is 111 because here the initialization is over or the declaration of the variable got completed so here we are getting 111 till then we in the, in the given block will the value of the variable bar will be undefined okay quite straightforward okay let me go to the another question last question for this video okay very common interview question 99% of the people will fail to answer this if they are looking at it the first time okay let's see how brilliant you are look at this code and whoever answers first to this question definitely I reply to that comment okay so line number 59 so we, we are trying to invoke this function get rate so uh, here we have declared a variable called rate i'm not going to explain further on this i just want you to guess the output if you know i mention it others i'll run it okay um yeah so we're getting rate as six okay what happened is we we know the function get rate and whether rate is equal to undefined so rate is already declared as 10 here right so rate is equal to undefined will be false so it will come to the else and will return the value as 10 okay but we are getting the value as six not 10 so most people will tell the same answer like how i explained they will tell answer as 10 but what happens is you know the concept of hoisting but you will miss to inculcate or use it in this particular given function what will happen is so as i said variable declared var keyword is having a global scope 
okay entire parent scope it will be there so inside this block there is only one variable rate no matter how many times you declare it so what happens is here it will go like this here it will go like this and here it will be initialized undefined during the first run this is the hosting right so then this statement becomes true and so it will come inside and it will initialize the value of rate as 6 and it will return that particular variable which whose value is 6 okay that's what happening now obviously you start asking a question i already have a rate here in line number 58 i already have a rate correct why not that has been used here obviously it's a global variable correct and uh, we are trying to access that variable here correct so but the problem what's happening is we have a same variable name 58 and line number 60 whenever there is a local scope and the global scope conflict always local scope is given the priority so if you are having same variable x outside the function and inside the function so whatever the variable declared inside the function will be given a priority that's what happening here as well okay uh, i mean if you make it as a uh, rat and this also as a rat okay then uh, this becomes false we would get probably 10 see what happened was there is no conflict now so this function is able to use the able is able to use the outside variable rat and uh, rat is equal to undefined is false because rat is 10 we are getting the value as 10 okay so these are the some tiny variations of hosting which can be asked during the interview so i have i have come up with some common questions that can be asked there could be some deviation to the same concept so there will not be any brand new question that can be introduced in hosting this is only the variation maybe they would um, loop it in multiple um, um, blo functions or multiple blocks to just to make you confused but you are fundamentally clear about the concept there is no way where you will go wrong okay please do uh, uh, please do execute all this code in your local and try to do a variations of it like how i did and analyze it thoroughly okay so if you like my video please subscribe to our channel uncommon geek and uh, also like our video on youtube channel and share it with your friends if you're liking it and also subscribe to our channel if you want video on any particular topic that was asked you in, in, in a, any particular interview and you are not able to answer please do mention that in the comment section i'll try to make a video out of it uh, thank you all for watching catch you in the next